happiness, very proud, and a very, very, very promising situation. That's it. When you have the endorsement of your royal fathers, the voice of the people is the voice of God. So that's uh, to say I'm elated. Very good to see you. Uh, for the past two days, there have been a rumor that you collapsed and something happened, and here you are. So, what do you tell Nigerians about this issue? Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. And, uh, you know, so, whatever is, uh, whoever is uh, manufacturing it, you better not uh, uh, believe them. No, to, to ah, yes, me. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Some of the real fathers here that I'm seeing now have yeah. been advocate of peaceful elections in 2019. Yes. And I'm sure they may have also made mention of similar things in this meeting with you. Yes. They did. I know, you see, when you have the belief that you can get the proper result. You work hard. You want peace. Where you believe you can win, you won't, don't want violence. None of us, with our children, our junior brothers, and many of our followers, we want our followers to become sacrificial lambs. No. We won't encourage violent disruption of any election. We are confident to win. So we're going to carry wolf. <laughs> wolf. <laughs> you know, before the election. If we accepted the beat, that's uh, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, this last question. Your, the APC Presidential Campaign Council, which you are a co-chairman, had an inaugural electoral meeting yesterday, mm -hmm. and the governance of the platform were not present. It has been reported that the governors boycotted the meeting. What was responsible? That's negative and fake news, too. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the point is, the governors had to stay back home. We all cannot converge in one place to decide certain modalities where we can easily go back to them, say, this is our decision, this is what we expect from your state. That's what is called structuring in an election, mm -hmm. political party election. Those, there are some you know, jellyfish uh, reporters around Nigeria these days.